Hey, this is Steve with Coffee Shop Blogger, and I want to help you publish better content with AI. So if you want to use actual intelligence and grow your blog the smart way, make sure you subscribe to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this AI tool called Auto Blogging, and I'm going to use specifically use this pro mode. So let's jump right into the video. So just to quickly explain what Auto Blogging is, it's an AI tool where you basically type in a keyword or your article title and then it writes it writes an article up to about 1500 words of content that is potentially readable like a human so i've tested this tool out quite a bit recently and i'm getting some really good results and i'm actually having uh, most of my articles are ranking in Google as well. I will also have a full review of auto blogging in the future, so make sure you stick around to find out when I post that that video. I'll also link to that review in the description below once it's available. And if you wanted to try auto blogging, you can get a one dollar trial, um, which gives you five articles. But if you watch this video and you want to get a plan then the pricing starts at $19 and that gives you 20 articles the next plan is it's called regular and it's $49 and that gives you uh, 60 articles and for $99 you get 150 articles and then they have got this premium version which is $249 which gives you unlimited but they've got like this fair use policy which is 750 articles so they call it unlimited, but it's not really unlimited. So that's the pricing. If you wanted to get this, um, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description below. So when you sign up, you will be logged in and you will see this page. And this page here is the quick mode. And I'll just quickly show you what you actually do with this uh, quick mode. Um, it's basically just typing in your article title here and then clicking on the button. And that's literally it and then your article will show up over on this side and they've got this um, this new quick mode 2 which says it's just launched um, I'm not 100% sure what this is because I've not used it yet um, but I'm just assuming that it's it's just an updated version so I'm going to be testing this a little bit more in the coming weeks and I will probably create um, a separate video showing you what this the difference is between the two um, but in this video I'm specifically going to be showing you the pro mode because with the pro mode you actually get a little bit more kind of direction and control over the actual content of the article so in the quick mode you just give the tool your title and that's it Whereas this pro mode, you can actually enter the subheadings. So this is how I've been using it most of the time, but you're just using the subheadings. But if you if you leave this remove keywords unchecked, then you need to put in keywords as well for the subheadings. And it what it's doing is just kind of giving the AI more direction and Kind of more relevance to more relevance to the article, um, so it kind of just makes a little bit more sense when you're reading the article. Um, but what you can do is you click on this remove keywords, and then you can put in your subheadings in this box, and you put your subheadings on a new line, and then what that does is it saves you from having to put in the keywords. Now with the keywords version. I think that you do actually get some better results because when it when you put the keyword in you actually it's actually finding the I think it what it's doing is finding the results in Google for those specific keywords and finding more context um for the subheadings that you put that keyword with so it just gives you a bit more of an accurate article and it seems a little bit more like it was written by a human. So um, I'm not going to go through that because 
I've got my subheading, but I don't have keywords specifically for each subheading. So I'm going to remove my keywords and I'll show you how to do that. And then in an upcoming video, I'll show you how to use this tool with the keywords as well and where I actually find my keywords. So the article that I want this tool to create is going to be called Benefits of Live Streaming on YouTube. And I'm actually going to publish this article on my blog, TechBed. And TechBed is basically just, uh, it's kind of like a test blog that I'm using to see how I can actually rank AI content. And um, I've already got a couple of articles on here that was created by AI. And um, I think one of them, I think both of these actually are AI. I think they're both ranking. Um, but this was these were created with a different tool so um, i'll probably go over this blog a bit more in detail in a future video um, but once i've created this article i will be posting it on this blog so if you wanted to check out the article on this blog afterwards it will be at techvade.com so this is the article title now this is specifically more just like the keyword but this is going to be the title as well. The, the keyword's going to be in the title. And then in the article subheadings, I just need to put in my subheadings, what I want the article to talk about. So here are my subheadings. And I just spent about probably about five to ten minutes doing some research to find out what the actual benefits of live streaming on YouTube. So it really didn't take that very long. Um, I found these through a couple of articles and I watched a couple of YouTube videos and um, this is the outline that I can't come up with. So I'm going to paste that into here and you need to put them on um, separate lines and then click on generate articles. Okay so that's now finished it took about maybe about one minute or just over so it wasn't very long at all so once it's completed it will show this button where you can download the article in a text um, file and it also shows the finished article in this text editor so let's just quickly go through um, the results to see what we um, what it what it's come up with so here's the intro. Well, welcome to the world of social media and live streaming where anything is possible. If you're thinking about stepping up your game on YouTube, today is your lucky day. This blog will explore the countless benefits of live streaming on YouTube and how and show you how it can transform your online presence. So grab a cup of coffee and let's dive in. Okay, so I mean so far that's not too bad. I Think there's a couple of things in there that it doesn't really need but it sounds like a human it it's kind of it feels like it has a bit of personality in there so it's quite it's quite good um, now personally I would actually change my intros and and that's typically what I do with my articles because the intro is most the most important thing um, and I really want to try and get people to read as much as the as much of the body as possible. So I tend to optimize my intros for higher conversions. So um, this isn't too bad, though. You could potentially get away with using this, and uh, if you're a beginner. So um, let's keep going to see what else we've got. Um, if I'm just going to quickly scroll down, you can see that it's used each of my subheadings that I put in high reach potential great for collaborations um, so I'm not going to read the entire thing but I will just quickly go through a few of them so let's go back to the top okay so it's cost effective live streaming on YouTube can be a particularly cost effective way to get your message out for one using YouTube live is free eliminating the need to pay for hosting services. 
if you use any tools or resources that are related to your stream, such as text overlays or graphics, you will just need to pay for those. But even then, it won't be too expensive. So I'm not quite sure if that's accurate. I don't know. I would have to do a bit of research to figure out if that's true or not. And if it actually costs money. Um, but if it is accurate, then that's quite impressive. Um, so let's keep reading. It says, plus, running a live stream won't cost much in terms of equipment either. You can use the camera built into phones and laptops or buy an off-the-shelf HD webcam that fits almost any budget. So that sounds pretty good. That whole um, sentence, those couple of sentences there make a lot of sense. Uh, utilizing YouTube Live also enables you to save operating costs regardless of what size event you decide to run since you will have access to the platform's free streaming technology and infrastructure so you know all in all it's not terrible it it kind of it sounds a little bit like ai maybe and i think that um an ai content um, detector might be able to detect it that this is AI but if I was going to publish on my on my blog I I would probably want to kind of reword a couple of things or, and maybe delete a couple of sentences but it wouldn't take me long to do that so um, so far so good for literally creating the uh, the article in about a minute is, is pretty impressive. So let's keep reading. Um, I'll read this next section and then I will um, finish the video. So continue getting views after the live stream. By hosting your live stream on YouTube, you can continue to benefit from its reach after the initial airing. Okay, so that that's really quite impressive. I, because continue getting views after the live stream. Like the AI obviously knows what I'm talking about, so I just I just find it quite impressive how it it gets so much context and meaning about what I'm talking about. So when a, a human being reads this, they're going to make sense of the article. So it's it's very clever. Um, so uh, one of the greatest advantages of live streaming on YouTube is that when the str stream is over. It will remain available for viewers to watch later. This allows audiences from different time zones or who were unavailable to view the live stream at its original broadcast time to tune in and watch. So that's amazing. It's just so good. <laughs> okay, I'm just really impressed. Next. Once the live stream has ended, you can easily break out clips and upload them as individual pieces of content. This offers more opportunities for people around the world to watch and benefit from the stream's content, regardless of when it, it aired. Additionally, because YouTube offers analytics tools, regardless of when your followers are watching, whether during the original broadcast or after, you can use these insights to understand what kind of content resonates best with your viewers. So. It's all pretty. It's all pretty clever. It's all like I'm quite impressed with that. Um, now, obviously, before I publish this article, I'm going to make sure that the rest of it continues to, um, you know, sound good enough. So I'm going to read the rest. But I'm also going to be using a AI um, content detector, and um, it's a new tool. And I'm going to be talking about that in my next video. So this is the tool here. It's called originality.ai. And this is a brand new tool. In fact, I think it was only launched this week or in the last like few days. And basically what it does is you paste in your content. And it's going to tell you if it if the content is AI, it's going to it's going to give you a I think a score um, of how if 
if it how much it thinks it's AI or how much it thinks it's human. Um, but this is also a plagiarism detector as well, and it's specifically finding if it's going to tell you if there's any plagiarism in the content um, compared to other content on the internet as well. So um, if you are interested in this um, kind of tool, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be running through a tutorial seeing if this this AI content detector can pick up if this is AI content. So if you have any questions about this uh, this tool, autoblogging, uh, make sure you leave me a comment in the comments below. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in autoblogging, I will leave my affiliate link in the description below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to learn how to use AI tools more effectively for your blog. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.